Hey, what's up guys? Coach Tom, I'm here outside my academy, South Coast BJJ in Seaford here in Australia. And we're gonna have a look at your guide to starting Jiu Jitsu, as if this was your first day joining your first academy. So obviously everyone's nervous when they walk into an academy. Don't worry, academies in Jiu Jitsu are full of awesome people. Walk on in. get meet like here at the front desk you would talk to someone you might have to sign say an injury waiver or something like that depends on what gym you go to and then there'll probably be some seating areas so for instance we have lockers we have like 20 or 30 seats or something around the gym and you would probably you know put your stuff somewhere we've obviously like in our academy just like all academies you'll have an area where there'll be change rooms showers toilets some people get changed in there a lot of people will come already in their gi pants if you don't have a uniform, don't stress. You know, probably the academy that you go to is gonna sell them or have loan ones. Or like in my academy, you can rock up in a shorts and t-shirt and that's no stress as well. So then when the class gets started, people start to get on the mats, you know, follow the cues. You'll be talking to people, everyone's friendly in Jiu Jitsu. Again, if in doubt, bow when you walk onto the mats. It's always kind of handy. Now, every gym is going to have different etiquette and stuff like that. My gym is no different, but most in BJJ are pretty relaxed. Most of them don't have too many things. If in doubt, call whoever looks to be the teacher or senior students. You know you can call the teacher coach. If they're a black belt, call them professor. Some of them will just want to be called their name. Heck, I don't know, some gyms they might ask you to call them sensei or something weird. That's not in my academy or where I train, but whatever goes goes so just be respectful and if in doubt show more respect and so when you come into your class you then get started with usually like a warm-up so most of the time in bjj academies like mine you will warm up and you start moving down the mats so we go down the mats doing warm-up drills you might do some self-defense drills and then say in a typical 90 minute class you might do two or three techniques so maybe some warm-up drills two or three techniques, they might be on a broad topic or going deep on a small topic, and then there will usually be some uh, drilling or rolling wrestling time. So usually in BJJ, you'd start from your knees. So if I was here with Maddie and it was rolling time, the coach would put the timer on, there'd probably be some music playing, certainly in my academy there is. You normally slap hands and give knuckles, some gym shake hands, but most of them do the old slap and knuckles, gangster stuff, and then we would uh, wrestle. So when you're wrestling and you get started in jiu-jitsu, the couple of things to think about is like the edges of the mats, okay? And if say we had some buddies next to us, we would move. When you're within about a meter, like a yard of someone, just move, you know? So they're kind of like the etiquette things you want to be uh, thinking of in jiu-jitsu. When it comes to actual class, I mean, keep your mouth shut. Never talk for social reasons when the coach is talking. You know, most people get that. I'd say 95 out of 100 students that walk into my academy, they won't be talking while the coach is talking. Maybe one in 20 you might find will do that and you just have to be like, shh, shut up. <laughs> you know, and, uh, but most people understand that. You know, we were taught in school when the teacher's talking, you know, you don't talk. But that's something to bear in mind. But do talk, do open your mouth when you have a question. Okay, so say everyone's drilling and you're like, oh, I don't know how to do this. You can put your hand up, you know, don't be afraid to ask your coach or your coaches questions. Their job is to help you in jiu-jitsu. But then when it comes to getting started and rolling, chances are, guys, even if you're a big, strong girl or guy or have a little bit of prior experience, you're probably going to be more the nail than the hammer when you first start. It's just how it is. So just be cool with that and enjoy the process. Me and everyone else, like we'll all get tapped out by someone eventually. Some sometimes you might spend your first five years getting tapped 10 times a class and that is wonderful. Remember guys, in Jiu Jitsu, tapping is learning. It doesn't mean you suck. It doesn't mean they're better than you. It means you made a tactical error. You have room for improvement. You're acknowledging that you're getting better. Remember when you come to your Jiu Jitsu Academy, whether you're the new guy or the black belt, your job is to get better, not to prove anything to anyone, including and especially to yourself. So enjoy it, have fun, enjoy your Jiu Jitsu journey. And for the record, uh, most jiu-jitsu gyms line up in rank at some point. So 
I travel all over the world, you know, certainly pre-corona, and uh, I've trained hundreds and hundreds of academies, and sometimes they'll line you up on a wall or around a circle, but either way, try to work out where you fit. Jiu-Jitsu in the gear at least, we have belts on, so if you're a white belt, go sit with the other white belts. There'll usually be some hierarchy type thing, follow it. Don't be the new guy sitting up with the black belts or something, you know, just read the room. You know, just read the room and you'll do great and just enjoy your jiu-jitsu journey. If there was any advice I could give anybody, it's to enjoy it. You know, when you join an academy, you should have a free trial of some sort. Like in my academy, all adult students get a free week trial. So basically you would expect to at least have a free first class. And if you're at a gym where you feel like it's like a lot of sales pitch and stuff like that, and it's not your vibe, hey, it's not your vibe. Go try out another gym. Find the gym that makes you feel good. If you walk in and walk out smiling, you're gonna have a good jiu-jitsu career. If you walk in and everyone's all like getting all tough, you know, it's probably not a very healthy vibe for you long term and they'll probably be quit the sport in five years. You know, go to an area where you wanna spend the next few decades around those people because you enjoy the environment. And then if you find that, you're gonna find jiu-jitsu is gonna be so wonderful in your life you know because you you can't wait to go to training because the jiu-jitsu part is kind of hard you know you're all wrestling covered in sweat and there is a lot of sweat and blood and tears that will go into your jiu-jitsu journey so to have that with a family you know you trust you love having around you is going to make it sweet and not sour so i hope you guys have enjoyed this little beginner's guide to starting jiu-jitsu don't roll too hard. Don't take losses too seriously. The only thing to take seriously is being a good person and enjoying your journey. So thanks for listening, guys. I'm Professor Tom. I hope to meet you guys someday.